Roger. We have visual. Roger. Roger.
But today, I wasn't so lucky. I mean, it wasn't just a regular funeral, was it? Oh, Sharpwood showed up. Can you imagine? I had a teacher, Mrs. Dawson. I haven't seen her since the third grade. Figured she'd moved or died. I, I mean, it's not easy to lose track of someone in this town, right? And today, I'm looking at her in the crowd, all alive and healthy. Imagine, right? And the crowd was huge. It wasn't even a crowd, more like a whole river of people. I mean, you look at all of them and you can't even see the end. All the roads were blocked. Just thinking. <laughs> It's weird, there's this dead guy who's making it so an alive guy can't get his groceries on time, right? <laughs> I mean, I just wanted to say, I, uh... I really respect Sheriff Wells. He died a hero, right? Ask anyone. Everybody says he's a hero. But I'm just saying, I got a job to do. I don't want to lose it. Nobody wants to lose a job, because it's not easy to find a new job in Sharpwood, right? So, uh... <clears throat> the money's right there in front of your nose. Don't bother with the change. Mr. Nash, I... Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to say that you, you don't need to call Mr. Summers. I mean, he'll be yelling at me either way. I deserve it, right? <laughs> I'm just... Uh, mm. Oh, by the way, those uh, cigars you asked about? Mm, uh, S Caesars, right? Mr. Summer said we normally don't have them in stock, but we can order them. Maybe it'll take a couple of weeks or so, but what's a couple of weeks when it's a quality product, right? I remember one day I was looking... Forget it. I don't know how long I'll be staying. Oh, I... Uh, I hope. I, I mean, I hope that you won't be leaving too soon. You're like our best customer. Or, or at least one of our best customers, am I right? I know there's a lot of stuff going on. Lots of folks are leaving. Even pale Charlie left, and he's even older than you. I, he's 90 or something. Maybe even 100. I, I, I mean, I, I'm sure you'll find yourself a decent job, right? <laughs> I'm... I mean, have a good, good day, Mr. Nash. Hey, Lily. So we're getting rid of this thing tomorrow? Uh, what? We do what? That drawing thing in the hall. We're taking it down tomorrow? I already called Uncle Dimitri. He'll cart it out for us. Hey, might even get a couple of bucks Whoa. for it. Whoa. First, it's not a drawing. It's a tapestry, okay? A beautiful work of art. You didn't notice, did you? Second, it's hanging there for a reason. And third, and most important, we're... Oh, oh, you mean that drawing in the hall. Great. I'll get a hanger tomorrow so we can put the TV up there. Maybe a VCR, too. What do you think? Jesse, we are not taking down the tapestry. TV? That's not a bad idea. Sure, but I was thinking, well, you know, I thought we could put a snack machine here. You know, I'm tired of having to drive 20 minutes over to Bad Ears gas station for smoked cheese in the middle of work. <laughs> like, I've got nothing better to do, right? As if I, uh... <laughs> you see how much space that giant thing takes up? We can put a TV up, an arcade game, probably even a pinball machine. Speaking of which... My son moved in with his wife in Derry, so we've got an extra VCR. Only thing is, he took all his videotapes with him, so we can't... Oh, no. Tapes are no problem. I've got lots of tapes. Plus, if we tell the guys that everyone's bringing in a couple of movies, then we... Look, I just need you to... Hey, what kind of movies you got? All sorts. Bloody Shirt, Bloody Shirt 2, Bloody Shirt 3, Bloody Shirt 4, Hard Boiled Women, Demons on Fifth Avenue. And you've got that movie where this pilot is flying around the earth, but he's running out of fuel over the ocean. So he makes a deal with Satan, and Satan sends him to fight an army of skeletons, and the skeleton general, you can't fuck with him. Yeah, that's the wind blows into hell. One of my favorites. <laughs> Goes without saying, that's every man's favorite movie. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> When I saw him at the end, when the girl throws the sword into the fire, my heart jumped out of my chest. 
Betty almost needed to call the ambulance. I, I swear <laughs> to God. You need to take better care of yourself, old man. I've also got this movie. It's actually a cartoon, but it's for adults, you know? This guy gets the ability to undress people with his mind. So he goes into work, and he works in a bank, and his boss is a real bitch. But the bitch has some great boobs, and she calls him over to her. <laughs> tomorrow. We'll just discuss it tomorrow. And she says there's some problem with this quarterly report. Some kind of paper got filed and wrong, and, and he asks, what's this kid... What the hell, Gail? Sit down and get ready to type. We agreed. Lily, we'll finish that damn letter of yours tomorrow. And if we're lucky, we'll even... Gail, take off your stupid hat and get back to your desk. I'm the sheriff and you'll do what I say. I'm the sheriff. <sighs> Lily, you do know you don't have to be such a bitch, right? Bad Ears gas station closes in half an hour, so if we don't finish this stupid letter in the next ten minutes, I'll be out of smokes until the morning. And if that happens, I'll be coming into work in a bad mood tomorrow. <laughs> and if I come into work in a bad mood, Just I... Just shut up and type. Okay, okay. I'm ready. And for God's sake, let's stop taking half an hour on every sentence, okay? First, read what you've got so far. Of course, we won't be able to pay you serious money. It's like we won't be able to pay you anything at all. But I hope that you feel the same as me, that the safety of our native town of Sharpwood is a question of duty and honor and not of material gain. No, no, not just the last sentence. Read everything from the beginning. <sighs> Lily, come on. We're Read it from the top. <laughs> Dear Captain Carter, I imagine you've already heard the sad news that has prompted me to write you. I'll be frank. This letter you're holding is a plea for help. The police department of Sharpwood right. was deprived. That's enough. I can't take it anymore. We'll just pick up where we left off. Do you think Captain Carter will even read this? <laughs> Lily, let's just finish it. And then... They got him. The guy from the flower shop, remember? He's one of the neckties. We're sure this time. Where are they taking him? Are they bringing him here? They already did. He's here. Did he have the goods on him? Has he said anything? What What does he know? Well, you want to find out, or are you just going to sit there? What happened to him? Well... As far as I understand, he had a hard time getting into the car. <laughs> right. Didn't like getting out of the car, either. And he really didn't like the stairs. And when we handcuffed him, wow, that was no fun at all. And then when he sat down on a chair, he accidentally... Cut the shit, Charlie. <laughs> what? The sheriff asked a direct question, and I'm trying... Get out! All of you! Lily... I think it'd be best if you just... What's the problem, Gail? Isn't it best if the sheriff interrogates important suspects? Isn't it great when the commander takes a personal interest in the work? Don't you think? Okay, guys. You hear that? Let's get out of here. I could at least hide the suitcase. What? Oh, this? It's just- Charlie, shut your trap 
and get ready to question the suspect. Lily, I just want... I just want you to... You do understand, Gail, that this will soon be over. All of this. You understand that, right? I know, Lily. I know. I need to finish writing that letter to Captain Carter. Hello, my name is Bogdan. Are you satisfied with your water supply system? I bet you're not. I am here to solve your problem. I, uh, 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 excuse me, what? It's not so nice to run to the toilet outside in the cold, is it? Especially at our age. You go once, you go twice, and by then, you've already frozen your butt off. <laughs> and it's lucky it's the only thing you've frozen off. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. And you know what I'm talking about, too, don't you? Uh, look, listen, this isn't my house. I'm just renting it. All the better. So the homeowner will pay for everything. While you will enjoy the new toilet in warmth and comfort. Are you, uh, are you, are you selling toilets? You sell toilets at night? Don't be silly. We'll replace your whole water system. A new toilet in the house is, well, it's the cherry on the cake. <laughs> You're right. I'm here a little after hours. Uh, Mr. Um, well, you see, our farm is just taking its first steps in this business, so I can only visit my customers after I'm done with my day job. But a toilet inside your house is doubly good at night, right? <laughs> Do understand your needs, sir. I myself had to run to the toilet outside for 20 years every night. But when I finally got a toilet inside my house, I... Please go. Just... Just go. I want you to leave. I know what you're thinking. You think that in such a small house there's simply no room for a toilet. But I assure you, if you just allow me to come in for a moment... Leave right now. I'm asking you to leave. I just want to save both of us some time, that's all. I know that you'll change your mind. The next time you need to go in the middle of the night, you'll remember me and think, Damn, that guy was right. A toilet in the house is what every adult man needs. So, why don't I've we... asked you to leave. You need to leave. Now. Leave. All right, all right. But I bet you won't last a week before you change your mind. I'm telling you right now, you won't last a week.
could hardly shut the guy up. He wasn't so tough. I didn't even get to the phase three. <laughs> phase three is where we I'm don't have a lot of time. They're moving their headquarters, but we should be able to nab most of them if we hurry. It's north of here, the old summer camp. But they never keep the goods at their headquarters. They always use a different place, usually an isolated house on the outskirts. Most of the time, these places have random tenants who don't even suspect that there's anything hidden under their floorboards. That way, the drugs can never be linked back to the neckties or the neckties to the drugs. You remember that little tavern called Frisetti? We went drinking there after graduation and broke that big mirror. Mr. Blaine's converted it into a house, and now he rents it out for almost nothing. Two weeks ago, an old man moved in, and under his floorboards, there's 27 kilograms of heroin. I'm starting to think that guy is leading us around by the nose. I'm betting there's four or five armed guards at the house. But you said it's a small place, right? Well, I bet there's two at least. I don't believe they just left the stuff under some old man's floorboards. Even if there is an old man living there, I bet he's in on it. Hey, maybe old man is just a nickname. What do you think? I bet he's a right cutthroat, hunkered down there, ready to ambush us. Maybe he already- Well, you and Corey, go check it out. Take two cars in case it's not just an old man living in the house. Whoever you find there, bring them in. And don't forget about the heroin. Rest of you will come with me to storm their headquarters. Sound good to you, Lily? Department. <laughs> ah, no. No. No, no, no. Look at this. <laughs> ah, no, well, just look, Corey. You couldn't find anyone better to watch the goods? Oh, they just didn't bother. Or are we missing something? What do you think, Corey? Think we're missing something? Huh? Is there some kind of special meaning to the fact that we've got drunk, dirty grandpa here sitting in the shack watching the goods? Maybe we need to crack the code here, huh? Well, any ideas where they hid the powder? How about you look around while I... <laughs> while I interrogate the suspect, huh? <laughs> you. What's your name, old man? What did you say, old man? You need to answer nice and clear when a police officer speaks to you. My name is uh, Nash. Uh, Warren Nash. I, I'll tell you something, Warren Nash. Fifteen years on the force. I've seen all sorts of dirty shits. This town isn't exactly upscale, in case you haven't noticed. I've caught thieves. Caught rapists, murderers, and drug traffickers. All part of the job, you know? I'm doing my job. Nice and easy, like a professional. But here you are. This... this filth. You're... You don't make it easy to be easy. 
filth like you drives me up the wall. With scum like you, I can't... I... I just can't keep up the cold-blooded professional attitude. I just can't. You know why, Warren? Because... Oh, I'm sorry, Warren. I'll be just a second, all right? Charlie! What the hell? Do you want Corey, to... just look for the fucking drugs while I'm busy with the fucking suspect, okay? So, Warren, filthy things like you, you drive me nuts. Because you think that we'll never catch up with you. You think the police can't do anything. You think we just rescue cats from trees and help old old ladies carry their bags up to the porch. You, you think, you believe, you really... Really believe that we'll never get to you, so you don't even have to try. You taking good care of the goods here, Warren? You ready for us here, Warren? Just waiting in ambush, Warren? You did fucking nothing, Warren! Fucking nothing! Because you thought we'd never come. But here I am, Warren. Here I am! What are you gonna do now, Warren? What's the big plan, Warren? Hey, I think I found something. You hear that, Warren? He found something. Next time, hide it better. Well, this looks like 27 keys of heroin to you? I... I would say there's somewhere between 26 and 28 keys. Well, well, th well that sounds like 27, right? Yep. Yep, looks like 27. So what are we thinking here? You load it up in the car and I'll pack up the old man. And any of this other junk we might need. I'd like, uh, I need, I, I really need to talk to the sheriff as soon as possible. I'm Sheriff Reed. You can talk all you like, but if I were you, I'd wait for my lawyer, Mr. Nash. I don't, uh, you, you said you're the sheriff? That's what I said. I, uh, no, no, I'm just, I, are you Sharpwood, Sheriff? I'm the sheriff. You, uh, you could... Do you have the authority to... Look, I'm wearing a shiny star on my chest. I'm sitting here in the middle of the night, and even though I'm exhausted, I'm poring over murder files that no one else wants to bother with. So yeah, I'm the sheriff. I may not be used to all this, and I'm not sure I ever will be, but I don't have another sheriff for you, Mr. Nash. You might as well accept it. Listen, Sheriff... Uh, sheriff Reed, right? Great, Sheriff Reed. Uh, I need to talk to the sheriff, and, and you're the sheriff, so... It's even better. I, I mean, older sheriffs sometimes... Well, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I, uh, I just want to say that there's been a mistake. And I want to help you out here because I... Yeah, because... Uh, there was a huge batch of cocaine hiding in your house. You want me to believe you didn't know anything about it? I rent that house. Only lived there a couple of weeks. And you... You know all that, right? It's easy to check, huh? Yeah, it's... Uh, uh, but but that's not important. It's it's not that I... Uh, I I'm trying... Listen, Sheriff Reed, you... You have to listen to me very carefully. I'm a policeman, just like you, you know? Oh, so you must be undercover. Is that it, Mr. Nash? No, 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 that's... It's much more complicated than that. M my name isn't Warren Nash. I, yeah, I already knew that. Your fake documents are so bad, they practically fell apart in my hands. If you... if you let me explain, I... <laughs> would you like to see my real document, Sheriff? Look, that humidor, you see it? What? That little box, the, the little wooden box on the table, see? Looks like a jewelry box? It's locked. We'll crack it open in the morning. Uh, wouldn't you rather open it now? Please, Sheriff Reed, let's open it now, and, and I'll try to explain everything. I'm in a very difficult situation, and I'm asking you to listen to me. 
Just open the box and you'll find my passport in there. My real passport. My name's Jack Boyd. The documents that say I'm Warren Nash, I bought them for 90 bucks at the rail station. Please, just open the box and I'll explain everything, please. You say you were a cop, huh? Yes, 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 I, I was a cop. I, I was the chief of police, just like you. Look, it's a very long and complicated story, but I, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. A and the fact that I've gone into hiding here, the fact that I'm here at all, it's, a, it's an injustice that I want to correct. And I'm asking you to help me. Sheriff, Sheriff Reed, let's talk. I'm begging you. Sheriff Reed, let me... Do you me... even know what you've been accused of, Mr... Mr. Boyd? I... Let, let's just say I... I don't know if you know what happened in Freeburg last winter, but it had nothing to do with the law or justice. I was used, you and I... You do understand that I have to report you to the feds, right, Mr. Boyd? Sheriff Reed, if you do this, you... You just continue this, I think... I believe that cops should help each other, so... I just want to say... You seem like the kind of person We've who... known each other for five minutes, Mr. Boyd. I doubt very much that I've made any impression on you at all. Whatever you've got yourself mixed up in, I hope that... I hope that you find justice, if that's really what you want. But for now... But while I... For now, all I know is this. You're a criminal, and they're looking for you. Your... Your folder. Your folder. That's a case file. Can, can I see it? Excuse me? I worked as a detective for years. Even when I was chief, I did half of my detective's work. If you... If you're having trouble with the case, I'm sure I can help. Cops should help each other. My exact words, right? You think... You you think that I... Listen, Sheriff Reed, what do you have to lose? You're the head of this police department. You've got to think rationally. I'm not trying to teach you how to do your work. I'm just... Well, just for a minute, forget about all that, the other. This whole awkward situation, okay? Right? You have an unsolved murder, and there's someone standing right in front of you who's offering to help. Maybe I'm an imposter, and I can't actually do anything. Maybe I'll even turn out to be a lunatic, scatter the file around the cell, and dance around like a wild monkey. But maybe, just maybe, I really am an experienced cop who can help you find your killer. Don't you want that? Don't you want to give me a chance since you've got nothing to lose? Don't you want a real criminal in prison, not some sorry victim of circumstance like me? That's police work. Catching the real criminals, right? I guess I'm going crazy.
Look. Lily here. Come in. Can you grab the box of flashbang grenades and get over here? There's no time to lose. Lily. Copy. I'm on my way. seeing anything Lily it's time yes just let me look at the plan <sighs> Lily we've got everything covered Gail I need to take a look at the plan Gail the plan Lily do you want to look at the plan or do you want to change the plan I need to see the plan before I decide whether I need to change it Gail <sighs> Let's get him over here. Someone needs to go get Canaan. Does anyone know Canaan lives? Jesse, grab that blue bag over there. Bring it over here. I'll call him. Bring me that bag. I'll call Canaan. The bag, Jesse. Jesus, Jesse, we don't have time for that. Bring me that bag. No, 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 come on. Lily, put pressure here. Press there and you don't let him. make it? You think he'll make it? to put something under his head. He's dead, Lily. Lily. He's dead. Gail's dead. Now you can call Canaan. What was his name? I mean, I mean the deceased officer. What's his name? Gail Greenberg. Were you close? No, but... No. We... we went to school together. Sheriff Reed, I... Sheriff Reed, ha! Huh. Sheriff Reed. If my dad could hear you say that, he'd died of laughter. He'd laugh like a madman, choke on his favorite meatballs even. Sheriff Reed. Call me Lily. My aunt lived in Freeburg. She, she sold flowers. Had her own store, a little shop. My mother and I used to visit during the summer. You have warm summers there. Warmer than here. <laughs> Anywhere's warmer than here. So, what happened in Freeburg, Mr. Boyd? It's, that's a very, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, F forgive me, Lily. I, I begged you for a chance to tell you everything, and now I don't know where to start. You were slandered? You could say that. 
So you aren't guilty of anything? I, uh, I'm plenty guilty, but, but not what I've been accused of. I was just a fool, a blind fool. You're right, Mr. Boyd. Uh, I'm sorry? The sheriff's job is to think rationally. I figured I might be a shit cop, but at least I can think rationally. Now I'm... Now I'm... Not so sure. Lily, listen to me. You aren't guilty of anything. I've been a police chief going on 13 years, and I can't say that I never... I, uh... Let's just say it's a difficult job. It gets complicated. And to put you in this position, it was, uh, I just want to say don't that... Don't be shy, Mr. Boyd. I don't make much of a sheriff. Is that what you wanted to say? Because I completely agree with you. Lily, listen to me. I'm a policeman. Whatever position I'm in now, whatever this is, whatever my official status, I'm still a policeman. I'm a policeman and I know how to do this job. And I will help you. Cops should help each other. Isn't that what we were talking about earlier? Don't you agree with me? What was it you said, Mr. Boyd? Maybe you're an imposter, maybe you're crazy, but... But maybe... Maybe you... I... Honestly, I don't even know if I... Really? Why are you pointing that gun at me? Can I get out of this cage? Lily? Yes, Mr. Boyd. Yes, you can get out of the cage. You, uh, you want me to... Well, I, I guess I'm asking. You want me to get to work? What is it you want me to do exactly? You can get some sleep in the break room. It's over there to the left, the dark green door. I'll still be here in the morning, and in the morning we... In the morning we... Well, we'll figure this out. Tomorrow you can gather up your things, Mr. Boyd. Yes, I just, uh, uh, this letter, I, I'd like to send it as soon as possible. This, uh, it's for my children. It's important. I can mail it for you. I, I don't mind. I've got a letter to mail myself. Lily, uh, I wanted what? to... You want to know if I'm going to call the feds? No, I won't call the feds. Do I realize that means I'm breaking the law? Yeah, I know. Do I understand that you could make a run for it at any time? Yeah, I know that too. I'll see you in the morning. Any other questions? So how long have you been working undercover? Since February. So you're like, you're like our new sheriff now, huh? Mr. Nash will partly take over management of the department. Some of you will now be his subordinates. Bad news, Cliff. I'm still the sheriff. Well, if you understand everything and there's no more questions, then let's... Uh, oh, oh, wait, I have a question. Now, uh, when are we going to take that thing down? I meant questions for Mr. Nash. Oh, then I have a question for Mr. Nash. Mr. Nash, when are we going to take that thing down? When are we taking that thing down? We're not taking it down. Sorry, bud. Looks like it's staying up. That's enough. Everybody back to work.
It was Sheriff Wells who hung that tapestry here. He said that... He said he made me his first deputy because I was the only one who understood what it says. Well, now there's two of us. Five sixteen in progress. Five sixteen complete. Five fifty one in progress. Fifty one complete. Five seventy three in progress.
573 complete. I, uh, did I miss something? No, no, I just want to move into the office where you were working yesterday. So you, uh, you're moving into a smaller office? I'm moving where I'm more comfortable. That's the office I used to share with Gail. It's, yeah, it's probably too big for me, but it'll be just right for you. Um, uh, can I help? No, no, I, I don't like people pawing my stuff. You could get a bite to eat. I'll be finished in, like, 20 minutes. I can handle this. At least I can handle this. Okay, then I, uh, I'll go down to the dining hall then. Call me if you need me. Ah, Mr. Nash. Glad we have a chance to get acquainted again. This time under better circumstances, huh? Our first meeting didn't go so smooth. <laughs> you really must forgive me, Mr. Nash, for being so rude to you. It was rude of me to arrest you. <laughs> you gotta admit, you don't really look like an undercover cop. Am I right, guys? <laughs> but I didn't hit you too hard. I tried to be... I tried to be delicate with elderly gentlemen. I'm not some kind of monster. <laughs> I didn't mean to offend anyone. You really shouldn't be offended. We're all grown-ups here. Why be offended? Why are you offended, Mr. Nash? I gotta say, I expect more from a senior police officer. Well, I don't know. More... more professionalism, you know? You seem like the kind of guy who sits behind a desk doing paperwork. Am I right, Mr. Nash? Is that the bathroom? Weren't you gonna drink your coffee, Mr. Nash? You're not incontinent, are you? Mr. Nash, do you have a problem? Is it an age thing, or did I just hit you too hard in the kidneys? If that's the problem, then I apologize, Mr. Nash. I tried. I tried not to hit any vital organs.
520 in progress. Five twenty complete. Five thirty eight in progress. I. Five forty seven in progress. Five forty seven complete. Five 
577 in progress. Five seventy seven complete. 